Hi everybody, this is Keisha from weblogbetter.com. Today I'm going to show you how I use PowerPoint to make some really cool graphics for my blog. Um, we're going to go step by step, so just follow along. The graphic I'm going to show you today is really easy. You just start by opening a blank PowerPoint presentation. I started this particular graphic simply by just inserting some shapes. I thought it'd be cool to pick something with some rounded edges, so I chose this one. As you can see, it starts out with a blue fill. Um, I don't want it to be that color, so I'm going to go ahead and format shape. I'm going to change the fill to a white, but of course you do this for whatever your theme is. I'm going to change the color so that it matches this cool green. And I'm also going to change the thickness probably to about six. That looks good. And I wanted to create a checkbox, you know, have it actually look like a checkbox since that was the theme of this. So really all I did here was just copy this this rounded square. I pasted it again and then I just shrunk it and positioned it. And there we have like an instant checkbox. Um, I wanted to add a little more interest to this so I thought it'd be nice to have like a black line maybe going across. I'm going to format that also, change the thickness, change the color. Thought it'd be nice to add some black, maybe make it stand out. So I adjusted the size here so that I could go ahead and add some text. I'm using the font that matches my theme. And I'm just copying and pasting this text. Um, if you want to actually insert a text box, you just really need to just go to insert, click text box, and then click wherever you want to start it, and then just start typing. But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to cut and paste for you, but you could just, you know, type it in like that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and actually insert the text that I want here. Now I'm going to add some interest. I thought it'd be nice to actually have a check mark here, so I'm going to insert that. Again, I'm just copying and pasting, but if you wanted to insert your own clip art, you just go to insert. You'd actually click clip art and you could do a search. You just type it in there and then click go. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to keep moving along. If you need to adjust the size of your picture, you just click it and then you can pull it smaller, bigger, however however you want. I'm going to just return it back to the size I had. And then that's it. That That's pretty much all I needed as far as this graphic was concerned. I just wanted something simple and clean. So now what I actually want to do is group this picture so that everything is connected right now if I just try to move it everything will just get all disjointed so I need to select all and see how it highlights everything all the pieces and I want to make sure um, I get this little um, instead of the up and down arrow I want to make sure I have this icon here and I want to right click I want to group and what that does is that connects them all together so now if I move something it's all going to move together. Now that I have everything grouped I want to go ahead and save it as a picture so um, I'm going to select 
then I'm going to right click click save as picture and then um, you'll give it a title of whatever you want to give it and then you should click save I'm not going to do that here I'm just going to close this out and that's it if you want to change the size of the picture so that it'll fit in your sidebar or whatever space you want um, I just open up a new paint document and then I'll just copy it and paste it directly into paint and then there you can adjust the size you can uh, change the pixel size or you can adjust it by percentage and then you'll just resave it and it'll be available to upload to your blog to your media library and that's it so if you'd like to take a look at the finished product go ahead and visit my blog weblogbetter.com Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.